What's up guys, it's Mike. What I have here is the new Devel that I just got in over the weekend. And uh, what you're seeing now is the results of the video you're gonna watch. I went through and I did a string change. While the strings were off, I cleaned down the entire fretboard and uh, I installed what I install on all my guitars, which is the DiMarzio locking strap my favorite straps I've used and uh, just threw on my Groove Gear fret wrap which is another thing that I use on all my guitars. So I'm basically going to take you guys backwards to what I already did. Yeah, it's going to be me taking this uh, new guitar that I got for myself and uh, you know setting it up to my likings and uh, what I prefer and getting ready to get shreddy. <laughs> I'm going to do first is I'm going to install this and we're just going to turn her over and what I love about these Devels is that the lock the strap buttons on the back so we're just going to take this off pop this old guy off One for the stand I'm just using where I work on my bike and my tools and I have an old t-shirt balled up right here and uh, yeah works pretty good now we're gonna get this off same thing we're gonna save that Now those are done. That's always the first thing I do whenever I get a new guitar is to put one of these straps on. These are the locking strap by DiMarzio. And these are my favorite straps I've used. And uh, yeah, that's always number one thing I do. I keep a spare bag to keep all my loose parts in. So all parts like that just put into the bag because you never know when you're going to need any of these and it's good to have. For anybody that's unfamiliar, this has hip shot locking tuners. So with lockers, you have to, you have to actually unscrew. You'll hear the little string pop. You have to back these out. Makes string changes a lot easier. And then back it out like this. And what I do so it doesn't scratch on the way is I'll snip it halfway. And it just make sure that you don't get any edges on your out. And it's a string through construction, so it just slides right out, right into the saddle, and that's it. This is just a simple Training tool by Fender, uh, nice and easy. This is by the Grumpy Guitar. I will link this in the description below. And uh, yeah, you guys can grab some of this. Made in the USA, all natural. Good stuff. Just open it up. And there's this little 
ball here. And you just right on the neck. So this is sat for two and a half minutes and now you just take a microfiber cloth and you wipe it down. Time to restring it. I always start with my low strings. Turn it over. Slide it through. Like so. Now, cool thing with the hip shot is you can slide this all the way through and get it pretty much tight where you want it to be and then you lock the back tighten that down and then you just crank it up Next one the same. Now that the strings are on, you clip off this end right here, and you can clip as close as you want because these. She's basically set up. Now on all my guitars, I use these. I know a lot of people are iffy about them. I like these. They keep string noise down when you are recording and it's just something that I've grown accustomed to using. So you just slap that right here. Like this, turn it where you want it, and that's it. These are made by Groove Gear. They're fret wraps and uh, they're inexpensive. You can get them for around 12 bucks, I think, most places. You can hook up the strap if you want. That's basically a String change, cleaning the fretboard, and installing a uh, installing a strap. Whether they're new, used, I like to do this. Yeah, that's it. So she's ready to go.